And have a perfectly good Sunday ruined! I've just done editing a second vlog for the week and uh, now I'm filming another one. Uh, the Simon vlog is coming out Sunday. This is scheduled for Tuesday at 5pm. I might as well keep that thumbnail. Save me the bother. I should go to bed. I have a feeling I got this. I, I needed to make it up to five because it's five for a pound. Cut. Yep, it's in DVD case number two. Catacombs. I knew I had it. Uh, I guess I'll keep the um, keep the sleeve. Make another collage. Sick boy. I'm pretty sure I don't have that. I'm not even going to bother looking these up because I don't have them. Uh, I think I've got all the office now. Well, there's not much in this one because it's full of uh, TV series, is, 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 which take up a lot, a lot of pages. Well, that didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Luckily I'm strong, Jesus Christ. I can I can carry 428 DVDs at once with one hand. Luckily I have long fingers. Ladies, apply in the comments. <laughs> Just kidding ladies. Besides, you don't want a man who can't even Decipher between the number one and the number two, do you? That's the wrong case, you fucking imbecile. Uh oh. I only left one space and there's two discs in there. Now what? I'm gonna have to kick this out. Ha! Oh, you have to be out of reach, don't you? Making me get up. There we go, now I have all the Office UK. Sick Boy only has a 3.6 and um, my score is usually not far off the average score. But sometimes just sometimes it's like way off so I'm gonna have low expectations going into this one so the only one of these four getting the shelf treatment is Carrie you can go there next to Candyman look at that perfect I left one gap near uh, I left one gap by Futurama so at least I uh, I can keep the cartoons next to each other. There we go, all up to date. And it's not even 7 a.m. yet. Tight squeeze. <sighs> hey, ho, let's go. We're all bunged up and ready to go. I have got a cold. I might not be able to taste the food. It's fucking Simon's fault. The stupid cunt. Seeing as I got 10 minutes, I thought I'd grab a Greg's a slice or something. Open up that fucking pit. That's called my stomach. Just done my first either good deed of the day or dumb fuck deed of the day, you decide. I pay I went to the subway to get some cookies because the queue in Greg's was ridiculous. And um she asked if I wanted a receipt, I said no. And she just told me to put my card on the thing and fucked off to the back I put my card on the thing and it like declined the card it declines Apple Pay for some reason in that garage sometimes I was like excuse me trying to get their attention to come back because the card hadn't gone through now I could have played dumb and you know um, just taken the cookies and gone but uh, yeah you decide Dumb fuck of the day, or good deed of the day. 
It's lambing season. Oh, look who it is. It's the cunt of personality. The... The pedant of punctuality. <laughs> you know him as the bag of booze that is Barlow. <laughs> I literally just stopped there. Hello! 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 Bag of booze. <laughs> Instead of cheers, you should get booze. <laughs> like booze. What have you brought for me, Broughton? Yep, never been here before. Can they fix emotional problems? I've definitely got those. Intimacy issues? I've got those. <laughs> I got those in spades. Excuse me, I haven't had sex in a long time. Can you fix that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Joe, it never occurred to me we're still in Wales until I saw Chrysler. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. I didn't know that. Welcome, know. Matt. Welcome, Matt. <laughs> oh, there's a Primark here, too. When do you think this fad is going to go away? Do you remember all the Greg's clothes? <laughs> I eat. I eat substandard pies. Oh, Good for you. <laughs> right, I'm only getting one of these, so uh, pick a number one or two. I know which direction I've gone in. Matt? One, one or two? One. one. <sighs> Damn it. Two. The Warner Brothers one. No, I can't now. I'm getting the Warner Brothers ones. I fucking never ask Booze Bag Barlow for help. So the pajamas are four quid. The socks are eight. Comfy, wamfy. They're the kind of ones you know when you're an adult and you don't have a poor diet. Because they're really going to show out the skid marks. They you found some? Avocados and aubergines. <laughs> nice. Oh, they. <laughs> right, where is the tills? Oh, there's peeled bananas here. Yeah, they're the ones with the piss flap. <laughs> piss flap. We set up a camera outside and we should go out skipping like women do when they go shopping I might just do it anyway I want to know what it's like you got my husband's money <laughs> and my husband's working while I'm doing this first JD I've ever been to with a fucking DJ it's like JD Weatherspoons in here <laughs> Is there a fucking DJ in there? <laughs> Spin that shit. Push the button. Change the channel. I don't know. Let's go through the fucking door. Welcome to Cineworld. Broughton. I hope you brought in your ticket. They got a fucking Starbucks in here. This is actually a decent hours is so shit. Yeah, no, it <laughs> really is bad. We still got tube tellies in ours on the, on the roof. Which one's cheaper of the two? I can't see what it's I'll get the uh, the, the strawberry matcha. <laughs> Matt wants to take a shit before he goes in the cinema so he doesn't <laughs> fart. So he's having an over roasted coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to apologise for ordering that because it looked complicated to make, but I've never seen anyone so happy at work. She was like dancing and shit while making it. <laughs> it's like, I wanted, I was going to film it, but it, that's weird. <laughs> so I didn't. Am I being stupid? How does this work? Put a straw, no, I don't know. I'll just take the lid off. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you... What is it? Strawberry. I can smell the strawberry. Oh yeah, it just tastes like a strawberry milkshake. It's good. I had my lime one yesterday, I've got a marshmallow one now. It came free. That's a lot of sugar I've just had though. This place looks fucking 50 years ahead of actually more than that even. Jesus Christ, the one I can't in there is so bad. I know. I mean, look at the size of that screen compared to Shandin, though. Oh, where were we? G. Oh, G. 
Itchy lot. Itchy lot. So you can turn the water off and on. Where does it come from though? Where? I don't know. Dude, this is miles better. I'm definitely gonna make this my local cinema now. I know it's an extra half hour drive, but totally worth it. Good luck falling asleep during this, Matt. Run, sort your zebra crossings out. It's ridiculous. Most of them aren't zebra crossings, and the, pass the passengers, the drivers don't know, and neither do the pedestrians, so everyone's like really confused. The toilets are there if you're pissed. No. I got a massive shit. Do you know I could smell them? <laughs> when I went to the toilet, I was like. <laughs> Oh, Matt just did it, wasn't he? It's <laughs> just remembered. Oh, there's a mix of different shits. Last time I saw one of these was when I was in New York. There's a yeah. Yeah, place called good. Burger Shack. Yeah, they do like really custom uh, desserts. Really nice, but that was the last time I saw one of these. Food's ready, but Matt's gone to get his first. These prawn crackers are spicy. Yeah. Oh, cheers. It's Mr. Krabs. He's alive for six months. Krabby Patty. Cool. I like the hats. Ah, uh, Sopranos just ended. Uh, where's it from? I remember it, but... Used to make these as a kid. Balls. Are they getting that? No. <laughs> Fucking taxi is fucking so good. I love how shitty it sounds. I actually do. It sounds awful, doesn't it? <laughs> right, so the last couple of times I've been here, I haven't been able to find this um, beer place with loads of garden gnomes. Luckily, I've got the booze bag expert here. <laughs> He's gonna sniff out the booze. <laughs> find the stupid gnomes. Find the stupid names. <laughs> this is the wine place. <sighs> Pack there. It's busy. No man. Oh cool, it's in his face smoothie. I'll get that one. Yeah, that smoothie. Just for the chicken. What are we getting? Ah, couldn't read that. I got this, it's a pale ale. I don't want another sour, I'll be shitting stomach acid over there. Um, I had a good day out. Um, 4D movie experiences. Let me just find my phone.
actually, I'll just finish this off first. Uh, it, it's quarter past seven. I just threw these Jimmy Jams on. They're very comfy, one feet, by the way. Very nice. Very, like, huggable and ah. But, yeah, uh, so the 4D movie experience, my first time going. Um, it was fun. I enjoyed it. The The chairs moving gets a bit old, like, halfway through the film, to be honest. Um, I'd say the Ghostbusters uh, movie itself, Frozen Empire. Good story. Uh, I thought the gags were too similar to the one, the female version of Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, the I didn't hate the female one, but I didn't really enjoy it much either. I thought the gags in it were lame, and this was kind of in the same vein. Like, it's, it, I guess it's not meant for 40-year-olds, you know, it's meant for a younger audience, but, um, yeah, it's not a bad film. I'd give it, like, a, a high 6 out of 10, which is low for a Ghostbusters movie. I'm not in a rush to see it again. Um, 4D is kind of a, yeah, I don't know, it's a fad thing, I guess, although it has been around for quite a while now, I guess, but... Yeah, the the whole moving the chairs thing, that'll keep you awake. At least you won't fall asleep during the film. But, uh, yeah, there's only certain films you'd want to see uh, that in. Maybe a horror. Maybe maybe I'd like to try horror in it. I'm definitely going to go to that cinema more often because um, that is, like, 30, 40 years ahead of the one in Candidno, which was hasn't been updated since it was put there in the year 2000. And even then, it looks like it's from the 90s, and not much has been updated from it. You know, but that's my local cinema, and I'm going to try and go to the one in Broughton a bit more often. That soft shell crab burger is kind of a bit too greasy. I enjoyed it, it was nice, but um, yeah, it was a bit greasy. It reminded me of um, that episode of The Simpsons where Lisa is... Homer's trying to make himself really fat. He has to be a certain weight, so he gets classed as dis disabled and uh, Lisa is telling him eat the fish sandwiches because they're just empty calories and uh, she proves it by if you're not sure just rub um, rub something on a piece of paper and it, and it will turn see-through if there's a lot of oil in it and she rubs the, the fish sandwich on the wall and the wall becomes see-through and then a seagull like crashes into it. <laughs> I'm waffling on. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I think this is coming out next Sunday. Um, you're probably sick of me by now because I've released a lot of videos this week, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm waffling, so I'm just going to give you a nice little pyjama hug and say goodnight. Ah. Oh.